we got 44 orders going out for a total of 987 dollars gross so let's get to pulling these orders guys what's going on everybody my name is marcus welcome back to another video today we're here in the warehouse getting ready to pull these orders as you guys see i got 44 orders going out impressions are back up so that means sales are back up and also might have something to do with the fact that I'm back to listing 50 a day. While I was on vacation, I was not listing 50 a day. I just didn't have enough inventory listed to hit the mark. But 44 items sold in 24 hours. It says 33 of these need to get shipped within 24 hours. But I do think some of those are still uh, sales that have uh, the five day handling time from when I was on uh, vacation that just continue to have offers out on them so i can't update the shipping uh 33 of these sold yesterday for sure uh some of them have sold today because i'm at 119 dollars for the day so if i click on those just six orders so six of those 44 items don't have to go out today the rest are going out today so let's get to pulling these items while i'm over here just hammering away all right guys i sold some shoes i do that from time to time i don't list them anymore so they don't sell very regularly at all just like with hats i don't list those every day so those don't sell regularly either but these are new balance trail shoes actually in decent condition the toe boxes are just a little bent up they sat for a long time and sold for a best offer of 1305 so uh just really glad to see these go this shirt is actually at my house. It sold for a best offer of five bucks, um, which this buyer actually just bought something else from me this morning. Um, I'll probably just try to combine those two and go ahead and ship the other order out for the buyer today um, as well. Let me see if I can find the other item she bought. Okay, guys, this is the other item from the repeat buyer. So I'm going to take this. It's a... Men's Under Armour quarter zip um, sweater. The buyer is a woman, so maybe it's just her her account and her husband shopping on it. So I'm going to take this item and the other item uh, and stuff them in a flat rate envelope, the two of them, and ship them out for one price and give the buyer uh, uh, both of their purchases at the same time. One of the things that I'm going to just leave up to you guys to pick up is Aeropostale. I pick it up. It's not the greatest of items to pick up, guys. The sell through is not all that great, and it's sold in the mall for like stupid cheap prices. So this sold for twelve bucks, you know, which is you know, got. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys too to determine if that's uh, an okay margin for you guys. Twelve bucks on the Aeropostale Vintage Abercrombie and Fitch Basic T-shirt, no design on it, no graphic. So for fourteen dollars. Another uh, Abercrombie & Fitch item. This is an Abercrombie & Fitch hoodie. This sold for 15 bucks. Usually I have better luck with those, but I accepted an offer. And then this right here is um, Carhartt. A little baby Carhartt hoodie. Uh, sold for $11.25. So keep the little guy fresh. J. Crew pants sold for $13.20. We got a Cancun Well Shark Tours t-shirt. Tours and stuff and such. These shirts sell for, or this shirt sold for $12. Destination stuff can sell, just like employee stuff can sell. This shirt right here is a Sonoma shirt. I picked it up because it said whiskey on it. And somebody out there drinks whiskey will buy this shirt but i didn't price it very high so for six dollars and forty cents sonoma's coles brand if you guys don't know life is good shirt sold for 12 bucks uh life is good always sells uh union day cargo shorts these sold for 13 dollars union bay cargo stuff i've been picking up just because uh cargo Pants and shorts do sell. Um, next item we got Sublime shirt 15377. 15377. 15377. So, this inventory system, guys, 
is super clutch, man, for pulling items super fast. Sublime shirt sold for, I think this was $11. Yep, $11. Uh, this inventory system is super clutch. Pull items fast, store a lot of items in a small space. This right here, my whole store is 8,300 items. So these two rows hold the bulk of the inventory. And then there's just a little pile of stuff on the floor over here. Not pile, I guess, but another shelf worth of inventory right here that as you guys saw in the last video, I need to start another row right here. And um, I should be able to, with this basement and this inventory system fully stocked, I should be able to fit close to 20 to 30,000 items. And I know that's a vast, um, you know difference 10,000 items I just don't know exactly how I'm going to lay this basement out yet to know uh, exactly how many items I can fit in here but still I'm looking forward to the growth very thankful to have this opportunity to put all my inventory in one space um, with tons of opportunity to grow this inventory system is uh, very very easy for anyone to start using it just goes in sequential order from items number 16 Everything from 16 between 16 and 413 is in this box 413 and whatever else on down and obviously the boxes just keep getting consolidated But if you're trying to get your inventory system out of the bin system Which is what I got going on right here and what I got going on over there with the shoes and the hats This is the bin life it takes up way more space storing your stuff in bins than it does putting it in consolidated rows like this does and then you just number it in order right all these supplies guys are on uh, amazon you can use my links in the description to start your inventory system like this today and it's an easy way to support the channel 15469 so easy so easy to pull stuff here 15469 Levi's jeans, Levi's 505, these sold for, what they sell for though, $15, this was a best offer, uh, and I'm okay with that, so this right here is a Nike, vintage Nike center swoosh, this is what, this uh, check directly underneath the hoodie opening, when it's centered right there, you call, you call it a center swoosh, it's a keyword, that will help your vintage Nike sell better and faster. Um, that item, if you guys saw the last Benz video, had a tear on the pocket right here and right there, right? And so the pocket was essentially falling off. So I had my mom sew it back up. Not even the greatest of jobs either. Um, and I listed it for 70 bucks. Um, those hoodies can sell over $100 sometimes. Um, I sold that one for a best offer of 50 and it sold once to one guy got canceled had another buyer interested in it they didn't pull the trigger so eventually this guy and i say eventually that was what last week that i had this item uh last week on friday today's friday a week now this item sold twice already and um this time the sell stuck for 50 bucks it's not to say it won't get returned but if it does it'll sell again so super quick it could sell again Okay, guys, got some more items here. We have one of my favorite categories to sell. Even though it's like not the most awesome of categories, it's button-up shirts. Don't know why, it's just because I find so many of them that I really get, you know, kind of a joy out of selling them. And Pearl Snap is something that I'm picking up any of, no matter what the maker is. This is Wrangler Pearl Snap. It is pretty dirty, like if you can see that yellow collar. Um, but I just use the words like chore and workwear and you know things like that, and it tends to sell okay. That shirt sold for thirteen fifty. More Abercrombie and Fitch items. These are men's joggers. So for a best offer of twelve bucks, this is an American Eagle shirt, men's shirt. So for ten bucks, another item I just brought up yesterday in the day in the life video is BKE buckle. Any of the stuff sells okay. Uh, men's and women's this is a men's button-up shirt another button-up shirt as I just got through saying I love selling button-ups this sold for $22 and guess what another button-up shirt this is cinch brand another like it's a Western type of item paisley pattern makes it more desirable 
this sold for a best offer of twenty dollars last night so really good sales right here on these button up shirts um the wrangler one would have sold for a lot more if it wasn't stained and stuff like it is wrangler is one of those things guys if you get the right items can really blow your mind at the prices you can get for it all right guys columbia fleece hoodie this sold for 13.50 i find columbia all day long it doesn't really sell for the greatest unless you get like vintage duck camo um that can sell pretty good especially made in the usa uh this right here is a trader joe's employee shirt this only sold for nine bucks i took a best offer uh i sell all employee stuff southern comfort t-shirt another alcohol related shirt this stuff sells though i don't know you know who's buying this stuff but i'm thankful that they're out there this sold for 11.25 a lot of pants and stuff been selling lately um i think it's just getting close to that time of year where people are starting to to stock up on outdoor gear um columbia hoodie north face pants right here these sold for 30 dollars be on the lookout for north face um this has the ripstop material light waterproof or water repellent rather uh cargo pants convertible definitely good uh item to pick up and then this item right here guys i'll talk about it mma elite right i told you guys this on a short and i showed you guys this when i picked it up at the bins mma elite great product to pick up if you guys see this and you don't pick it up that's on you because i'm providing the knowledge here now this shirt sold for 60 bucks i had it listed for 80 there's a hole in the armpit it's not the greatest of condition and it's still sold for 60 bucks so definitely pick this stuff up if you're out it's uh it's definitely a bolo uh, nautica chino shorts not a great brand at all to pick up these sold for six bucks i do believe there's some staining on them or something that i didn't get to see as i was picking them up to uh, uh put them in my cart sometimes i can't make it all the way through the cart that i uh load up at the bins before they close um wrangler pants wrangler sells all the time for me these sold for 15 bucks more levi's these are levi's 501 these sold for 20 bucks we got angie never heard of these right there's like some boho like parachute looking pants with flowers on them uh these sold for 20 dollars, so pretty good price uh for something i never heard of and then these are american eagle jeans just a women's size four with like this acid wash on it sold for the best offer of nine bucks so if you guys are in the market for someone to help you grow your business say you want to reach six figures huh i happen to know the right place for you to go to road to six figures on patreon.com is a patreon that bo my bo and myself run we uh are focus driven to help people go further faster in their ebay or online reselling business it doesn't even matter where you sell at bo sells on multiple platforms ebay and poshmark several people in our patreon sell on multiple platforms as well um if you guys want to have some help with coaching you know optimizing your listings optimizing your business consider joining us there's a seven day free trial there's a lot of things that come with this um patreon hours of coaching reseller spreadsheet multiple reseller spreadsheets to help you track your numbers uh, item specifics guide bolo list a uh, do not list and now there's going to be a road to seven figures call inside of the discord this is going to help people that are trying to focus on growing uh, their business past the six figure mark that they've already achieved so it's not just for people that are trying to get the six figures it's for people that are trying to get the seven figures as well so if that seems like something you're interested in consider joining the patreon we'd love to have you there so at one point or another i had talked about this video light kit um i just don't think i'm going to use this one guys i'm going to go ahead and return this and what i'm going to do is get some of the lights with the uh the umbrella lights or whatever they're actually called um i'm going to rock with the newer lighting kit newer is just a really good brand 
Um, I'm going to rock with that. And then I'm going to move my photo setup to over here up against the wall. And I'm going to use this table to stack my clothing up behind the listing station. And that way I'll just have it more optimized and I can have everything in this one area. So that's going to happen within the next week or so. Uh, I really just need to do it instead of just talking about it. So you guys will see when it actually takes place, but I definitely need to make it happen ASAP. Miss Elizabeth says the economy doesn't turn on a dime and neither does your business. Keep listing. That is correct. And another thing about business is we're not just in business for temporary times. Most of us are, you know, not planning on getting out of reselling anytime soon. And if that's you, you got to stay diligent. You got to stay focused. You can't let what's going on around you be the controlling factor of if you do your listings or not. For me, I'm going to keep on listing, right? As long as I have inventory around to be able to buy, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to put it online to sell. Um, that's the part that I can do. Pick good items, list them properly, and give them a good price. Somebody's going to buy them. There's people buying stuff they don't need all the time. We're a wasteful nation. Everybody has money that they need to be spending on something that they're spending on something they don't need. And I'm trying to get that money. So um, utilize the wasteful nation that we live in and sell stuff that people want to buy that they don't need and you'll be fine got another wrangler pearl snap western shirt picking up all pearl snaps that's sold for a best offer of 10 bucks then we have here some levi's cargo pants i believe these are boy size sold for 12 dollars got another pair of cargo pants these are express brand linen pants 100 percent linen sold for 750 because there is a hole on them got us a pair of nike joggers got these in the last ben's trip just nike straight leg sweatpants sold for 13 bucks then here we got us another vintage nike sweatshirt that i picked up in the last ben's video as well along with the center swoosh nike hoodie this one uh is stained is a little little grungy looking sold for uh i had it for 35 dollars. someone paid 28 bucks for uh with 20 20 percent off coupon i believe so let's double check see what it sold for it says 35 dollars, but i know it didn't sell for no 35 dollars hmm maybe it did Said 20% off though, so we're just gonna believe that it sold for 35 with 20% off. Um, another thing I've been picking up, thanks to the homie Bo, is women's plus size tops. And for that reason, I'm up 18% in the women's tops category. This is a Roz and Alley, Rose and Alley, I don't know how you pronounce it. Roz and Alley shirt sold for 11.25. Another pair of my favorite jeans to sell is Levi's. These sold for $25. I'm telling you guys, man, I'm selling the crap out of some Levi's. Don't sleep. Uh, this shirt is a ruck and run. It's like a military, you know, you put your rucksack on and you go for a run type of thing. Uh, that shirt sold for 10 bucks this morning. This shirt right here is a vintage Mark Martin um viagra racing car definitely don't use the word viagra in your title you will get your listing removed it's not allowed to be listed um because you can't sell viagra on um ebay so they're not going to know that this is a viagra shirt they're going to think that you're trying to sell viagra pills and that's not allowed anyway super stain vintage listed the shirt for 20 bucks somebody offered me 15 so i took it and here we have Polo Ralph Lauren t-shirt, just a basic t-shirt, just listed this the other day, and it sold for seven bucks, balling. We got uh, American Eagle pants, these are women's pants, I got these from the bulk buyout that I did of the guy that reached out to me and sold me his eBay store, those sold for $12.75. All right guys, and we just have three items that are slashed uh, prices. These are Adidas leggings, so for $4.26. These are women's Magellan shorts, so for 
and this right here is a American Eagle women's hoodie. This sold for nine bucks. It's been listed for a while. Glad to see it go. So if you guys um, are having slow sales right now, the, the time for that is probably about to be over with. And I say probably because I can't determine what's going to happen with the market. But I do know that we're at the last uh, couple of weeks of summer and summer slowdown will essentially be a thing of the past until next year, that is. So try to not be discouraged any longer. Just continue to get those listings up. Q4 is right around the corner. Super Bowl of reselling. So let's get that money, guys, and just try to do what we can to stay positive and focused on what the end game is. Uh, try to get those numbers up for the end of the year. That's going to do it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. But until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.